My name is Finian McManus. I'm Danny Fisher Shin. I'm Max Ulichny. Aaron Blaze. Jaron Vogel. Amber Aki Huang. Philip Boutet Jr. I'm currently an art director at Scholar. We recently worked on the Obi Wan Kenobi Star Wars TV series. Currently work in animation as a character designer, and I make my own Max Packs. So, the piece of advice I would give myself starting out, I think it's to keep persevering, persisting. That persistence will open so many doors. There's certain things that you just can't get instantly. And that's an art career. That's an ongoing, lifelong commitment. I would tell myself to relax a little bit more, first of all, <laughs> but also to make the stuff that I specifically enjoy myself. Because we're all like, oh, like I love this person's art, I love this person's art. Like, How can I emulate that? How can I capture like that style? Which is helpful for certain things, but at the end of the day, you want to be making something that like really speaks to you. If you end up putting that out there, then you're going to find people who feel the same way about those things. And that is honestly like the entire point for me, at least. I kind of wish that I had just asked myself, what makes you happy? Because what makes you happy is maybe something you can actually do for longer. Because one of the bigger things I also learned when I moved to LA is I thought I was behind getting into the industry. I was in my 20s. I'm still in my 20s. All of my coworkers, we're in their 30s and 40s and 50s. I was the youngest on my team. I didn't actually have to put so much pressure on myself. I could breathe a little. And if I had breathed a little bit more and let myself enjoy it, I think I would have realized what makes me happier earlier. People say fake it till you make it, and like that sounds really stupid, but it's actually some of the best advice that I think I got. Even if you don't feel confident, to, to just fake confidence as well as you can. So that might be something as simple as on your social media bio, you say that you are an illustrator instead of saying you're an aspiring illustrator. I mean, it can feel really intimidating because you probably don't feel like you're really there. But I think your work can speak for itself, and if it's saying you're not ready, then clients aren't going to hire you, but you might be undervaluing your work and you don't need to give them any excuse to pay you less or not to hire you. To not be as hard on myself, uh, to not try to be as much of a perfectionist, to treasure you know, the friends and family and support around me. It doesn't just have to be me alone on my own journey. It can be a journey together with other people, helping each other, building a community, and you know, with great support. And, and honestly, with other people, it makes it a much better and more enjoyable time. Working regularly was something that I forced myself to do. That's the advice I would give myself. I was really focused on my career, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I wasn't doing a lot for myself. And I really wish I had just kept up a regular practice of making art for myself, and I think I would have found my creative identity a lot sooner and been able to reach my artistic goals a little bit quicker. There's a, a million different hashtags or, or topic challenges or Inktobers or or uh, Draw Halloween or, you know, Mermaid or any of these silly things, they're great. Be fearless to just go for it. I think that you, as an artist, you doubt yourself a lot and you're not sure that you can do things. I've always been a person, like whenever I start something, I wanna like get it technically right. But I think sometimes what ends up happening is, is that you'll talk it up and you'll be like, I'm not ready yet, I'm not ready yet, I'm not ready yet. Meanwhile, there's someone that doesn't think that way that like will go mess up, do it completely wrong, and then they just keep getting better at it and they're allowed to grow because they actually put themselves forward. So I think I would tell myself, that everything was gonna be fine, but also to be fearless in it and just give it my best shot straight out the gate. You're gonna like reach out to people and sometimes people won't reply back. Sometimes you're gonna make a post and you're gonna be like, this is gonna do so well, it's just gonna flop. Just be consistent. Realize that, hey, if someone doesn't reply to you or if you're not getting engagement on something, that's not the end of the world. That's just like another little speed bump on your journey to eventually getting to where you are. It's just one thing. This is not the end of your career.